200 listings in 30 days. That was the challenge. They said it couldn't be done. She did it. Welcome to the Real Estate Seller. It's Dawn and Nicole, and we are here to tell you something really exciting. 321 listings in 21 days. That member we're following who was challenged to get 200 listings in 30 days, she's in 21 days, 321 listings. That's outstanding. 21 days. Unbelievable. Now I have to explain how. Okay. Okay. All right. Because you guys are out, no way, can't happen. 300. Can happen, did happen, here's how. Okay. I, when, I, when I told her to get the 200 listings, I said, here's how you're gonna do it. Hmm. You're gonna go out hmm. to developers. Developers have multiple units in buildings and they have multiple units in, in their complexes. Now, there are some developers that allow you to do open listings. Okay. Okay. And an open listing, we had somebody yesterday say, oh, but I think open listings are illegal in some states. They're not illegal. Open listings are just, and, and the way we're, we're talking about them and the way the National Association of Realtors explains them okay. is that open listings are a contract. Okay, so right now you pretty much know about the exclusive right to sell contract. Right. The exclusive right to sell contract is you get a listing and if that listing sells, you get paid no matter what. No matter if you sold it, no matter if the owner sold it, no matter which realtor sold it, exclusive right to sell means that house sells, hmm. you get a commission because you had an exclusive right to sell. So really, you have an exclusive right to get paid is really what it is, okay? But then there is the exclusive agency listing. And that means only one agent can list that property and only one agent can and will be compensated, but the owner's free to sell on their own. Okay. An open listing. Just open the door. Listen. Right. An open listing is when neither of those other things happened. So if the house sells, you're not guaranteed to get paid. You're only going to get paid if you are the person who brings the buyer. But another agent can bring the buyer, and then that agent gets paid. And that's what an open listing is. Now, some people confuse open listings for net, li net listings. Um, and that's like, you know, I'm going to, Mr. Seller, I'm going to pay you this much, um, and then everything over that I get to keep. That's a net listing. And those, those are illegal in some states. Nothing but net. Right. And then there's a, another situation where you have to have an agency agreement or you have to, uh, you can't have a listing without agency. An agency means that I represent you in your best interest or I have you sign off who I represent. Okay. The agency might be I represent the buyer. The agency might be I represent the seller. So that's what an agency is. Okay. And I think a lot of people confuse those terms. But an open listing is, is um, just, hey, you bring me a buyer. I'm going to pay you a commission. You scratch my back, I scratch yours, we call it even. That's it. So a lot of these developers, they give out open listings because they want everyone and anyone to bring them a buyer because they have hundreds of units to sell. So they can't just ah, get that right. They don't just so go. 300 units she's putting up, those are the, those are the units. Right. Well, she's not, she, she, he, she has gotten multiple uh, development to get into there yeah. right because you don't get all the listings you might right. get 20 in a complex or something like that or, or so she's many. really hitting the pavement she is hitting the pavement yeah she is she is doing the work and she's going out there and it can be but it works and, and open listings can be rental yeah or they can be sale so you don't they don't have to be a lot of things I, in new york city open listings generally people think of rentals they don't think of for sale properties but in, they really don't have to be either. Okay. An open just means that more than one agent has the right, right. to sell a property and in who, that property. Whoever brings it back to the table gets it, the commission. Gets the commission. As long as there's, basically, as long as there's a contract or, or an agreement between two parties, you're okay. It's right. not illegal. Right, because an open is, you do have to have permission from the seller yes. to list that open. We're not saying you're not, you're not listing a property without the permission from the seller, at least you better not be. 
it's listing not a property. I mean, and certainly not on not on my state MLS. You're not going to list without permission from the seller. We actually require that you be, you know, licensed and that you have permission from the seller. Um, but but the idea is to get permission from the seller, and and the seller oftentimes in these developments they have all the uh, all the marketing material for you. They have the pictures and they have videos. They have um, they have floor plans and all kinds of things, and they're like, here, go ahead, yeah, market it, sure, we want you to. So it works. Yeah, so that's what an open listing is, and one of our members, like I said, she's up to 321 of those in 21 days. Um, her, next week, next week is the closeout of the 30 days, yeah. uh, two days after next Friday, Before. and she could potentially be over 400 that's... by then, because she's not going to stop. Do you think 500? Are we, are we shooting for that? She... Like. She could be. I mean, could it know, happen? Every day, I know she's on that phone, and she's calling all day long. She's setting up appointments with developers, and she's driving far to get some of these listings. She's driving two hours, something like that, That's to get amazing. some of the listings. Yeah.